Oh man, I think it's uh, 4.20 right now, maybe 4.30. We're gonna arrive in Miami around uh, 7 o'clock, 7.30. Nice. Better than a uh, random rectum check. We're going the wrong way yeah, for D1. I have D31 now. You ever seen Brokeback Mountain? Oh, the middle seat. My favorite. Just touched down in Miami. Got a little bit delayed, but uh, we're looking good. Getting business as soon as we touch down. Can you send me an email of the uh, suntan lotion the was invented. Forward. It'll just make it quicker Who for me on my end. Oh, no worries. If we if it can wait till Monday, even better, because then I'll actually be back in the office. <laughs> hey, we'll get out of here. I'm not gonna need this baby anymore. Oh, how you doing, hey, man? Good to see ya. It's Cuban dancing. Oh, you've got footwork. Just checked in at Stay Alfred. Pretty sweet setup, settled in, and now we're getting ready to head to the 2020 Miami Boat Show. The Miami International Boat Show 2020 on our way. Up, offloading the bus, getting ready to go inside, hitting the ground running. All right, we just got here, super excited, got inside, and of course, the first booth we're gonna check out is Golden. Customers very intrigued in the new new product. Good day, very good day. Looking forward to tomorrow. The weekend's gonna be swamped. First day was a whirlwind. Got our flight, dropped in straight to the show. There's so much to see. All I can say, stay tuned for tomorrow. Day one done, sun.
day two. We're up and at it early. Everybody's lining up. We're getting ready to go inside, grab a coffee, and we're gonna let it rock. know how many people are in here per se. Don't tell him. Yes. You know, I think it's a good, it looks like a solid six, I would say. Solid yes. six. If God forbid we were to get into an accident, there's somebody running through my back or whatever, that's a big problem. That's when the problem starts. Well, I'll step out yeah. and a couple other people step out will be good. There'll be six in here. We're approaching the DUI stuff. checkpoint. Right. That's what it looks like through his viewfinder. Because, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it does. This app has not been functioning for us. Let's see. Ooh, carpool for five dollars and ninety-six cents. Oh, enter four digit code sent to my email. Technology man. Setting up our ride. Day three. Uh, Tommy and Ken set us up with uh, Moasis over at Asthma Yachts. We're going to uh, kind of take advantage of a special opportunity and up oh, here's our Uber just pulled up. Uh, Moasis is going to show us what these things are all about. Super excited. I've got a feeling this is going to be pretty sick. I can already feel the vibe. This is, uh, this is where the heavy hitters are today for sure. Thank you. Got the bands. We're going in. Down here. Boom. We're we're in a we're in the old cattle maze right now. They herded us in, and uh, there's there's no way back out. Just a steady flow of traffic, one direction. Woo! Just made it out of the labyrinth. Uh, I think we're getting closer to the big boats. I can feel it. When you pull up in your yacht, in this thing, you've got all the respect. Whole marina's done. You won the game. All right, we're getting closer to the boats. You follow the money, and uh, I think there's the supercars, so the yacht's gotta be this way. Big boats. Uh, just got out here, and we're going to take cover. Rain is coming in. We're gonna post up underneath the uh, gazebo over here for a minute, and then we're gonna get back at it. Give Moasis a call and give him some time to get ready for us. This All reminds right. me of like Catfish with Neve. Okay, uh, go ahead and give him a call. We're gonna record. It's ringing. It's ringing, it's ringing. Hey, Moasis, Jerry Wilson with Water's Edge and Golden Lift. Tom. Yeah, Ken Fetty and uh, Tommy Fryer said we might be able to swing, swing by and do a walkthrough on one of your boats. 
Okay. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, brother. You got it. Thank you. Bye-bye. He's got a little broken English. This is going to be an interesting one. <laughs> but he knows his yachts. Who needs to speak English when you're on a $10 million boat? Seriously. He's winning the game. As it yachts. As it yacht. As it. As up. I need to remember that. Don't want to call their brand the wrong thing. Did you understand any of what he's saying? So we got a quick break in the rain. We're going to jump over and uh, see if we can check this yacht out. Hey, Jerry Wilson. <laughs> it's me. Oh. Ken yeah. told me that Jerry wants to hear. Yeah. What do you want to see, or what do you want to do, or what do you want to Yeah, so <laughs> we just want to roll through and be able to see what it's all about. It uh, on the Marine Max uh, radar, you know? Yep. <laughs> because they, they say it's an evolution. All right, we're getting out of here. Um, it's starting to rain, and I think we made it just in time. We're going to swing back over to the boat show, maybe grab some lunch, and see if we can catch up on what's happening there. This is what it looks like, gathering content. We, uh, we walked the, the, the maze on the way in with the herd of cattle, and uh, guess what? Only way back out is through the maze again. Hooey, I made it out. Let's get out of here. When it rains at the yacht show, you leave and you go get a Cuban sandwich. Mission complete. Oh, mm. This is their extra large. <laughs> had our lunch, had our coffee. But no trip to Little Havana is complete without a Cuban cigar. Let's go. Like a light lead with a strong lead makes a medium cigar. It's medium. Okay. I like a medium cigar. Do you have anything with a, uh, like a torpedo tip on it? Yes. See here. Oh, oh man. And heavy than so, me. I have the same price. This, this is the one. Can you cut it for me? I can try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do it. You gonna open it? That's the one. It was at this moment when it suddenly hit me. Life isn't all about fancy cars and massive yachts. Maybe all I need is a shot of espresso, a good cigar, and a Cubano with french fries on the side. I wonder what Garrick's doing back in Michigan. Is the business running without me? Do they really need me? I've been here for two minutes and I'm already dancing like a fool. Andy's remark about staying down here and sleeping on a park bench is starting to make more sense. That said, I once heard, if there's a bathroom on your yacht, you can write it off as a business expense. Is this what they say when they mean living la vida loca? Or did I just find a cigar shop in Little Havana to hide out from the rain? had our cigar, had our Cubano. It's time to head back to the boat show. Let's do this. Uber's here. Hello. Thank you. Having, yeah. Ton of What's going on, guys? It's the last day of the show. Rain came in and kind of shut everything down. Uh, we showed you as much as we could, but there's just no way. So guess what that means? We're coming back next year. But for now, thanks for tagging along. We had an awesome time. Peace.
ready to go home. Let's do Get it. Get me out of here. Yeah, we're gonna go.